Eric's not only a talented builder, but he's also, get this, a fan of the show and some of the stuff that he learned watching us, he used on this truck. Pretty cool, huh? So Power Nation has been a great help to me because it's really like going to school, which is kind of funny because when I was a kid, you know, I look forward to Saturdays because you didn't have school. Now I look forward to Saturdays because it's like I'm going to Power Nation University. You know, so it's really been a great help. The way you guys do what you do, it shows you what works and it shows you how to actually, you know, do the same thing to your vehicle. So, you know, over the course of the years, you know, it's been integral in, you know, building this truck. Eric bought this truck about four years ago, and for the next three years, he and the builder, Greg Bush, transformed it into what you see here. Took a Tahoe, took the body off, and took a 55 Chevy and stuck it on top of the full chassis suspension drivetrain. First thought is that it wouldn't work because of the dimensions of the chassis and the truck, so at first I thought he was crazy. The big thing for me when you're doing these chassis swaps is where the wheel ends up in the wheelhouse. You know, sometimes they're a little too far inset, sometimes they're too far forward, sometimes too far back. And then just getting the fitment of the body to the chassis was the biggest challenge to me because we concentrate on, you know, getting our wheel wells to line up, fenders to line up, and everything just to set nice like it should. What we did was we adjusted the placement of the fenders, I widened them, and um, we also had to section and widen the bed to make sure that everything lines up the way it's supposed to. Because it's something that nobody's ever thought about doing. We really appreciate Eric hauling this truck all the way from South Carolina, but hey, when you're a gearhead, that's just what you do. So, you know, the metal finishing of the truck, that was something that was really key for me. You know, when I started out, you know, I wanted a copper effect. So the way that was achieved was, first, I grinded down, well, most of the original paint, then it was sent out to the sandblaster. The whole truck was sandblasted down, and then it was metal treated. It's like an acid copper mix, and then it was cleared over. And it's really interesting process because when you apply it, you have to manage what's happening and how long you keep it on there. And by doing that, that changes the effect that you get. And that's the one thing that that people remark upon because they look at it first. They look at it and it just kind of looks rusty. But then when they get up on it and they start looking at it, then it, you know, it really hits them. Like, you know, some people call it patina. You know, it's not really what I was going for, but, you know, that's what people call it. So what I wanted to do is, like, when you look at it, you see, like, a nice kind of antique truck. But when you look inside, you see a nice polished interior, cleanly done with air conditioning, you know, Bluetooth, you know, and everything along that goes with it. I'm hanging out here with Eric. We're in this awesome 55, man. What's it feel like to drive this thing every single day that you want to? Because this is yours. And, you know, it feels great, Gannon, because this is something that, you know, we've been working on for the past three years. So to finally be able to, you know, drive it down the road, you know, it's a great accomplishment. Do you get weird looks when people look at you? It's, it's very distinctive. Yeah, that's the biggest thing that people comment about is like, you know, how did you get the metal to look like that, you know? You know, when they first look at it, they just think it, you know, it was like that until they get up and they can see all the, you know, the copper look to it. You have to get up on it. You know, you have to get in and look at the truck the same way you have to look at the uh, finish of the sheet metal. You have to look underneath it in order to be able to see that this is actually all 2004 Chevrolet Tahoe. You know, the older trucks, they kind of sway around a lot. There's no sway in this truck at all. Yeah, I mean, that's the idea, you know, like it's all 2004 Chevy Tahoe. So all the suspension, the drivetrain, you know, it gives you, you know, that feel.